Hey guys, Brayden Carlisle here, and I want to talk to you about my ideal magic kit. Now, a while back, I think it was around Christmas, Illusionist had a Kickstarter for their How to Be a Magician magic kit, and I did a little video on it, you can click the eye, all that YouTube stuff, but it's recently got me thinking, because they're still selling it on their website, what is a really good magic kit? Now, I've already given my opinion on the How to Be a Magician magic kit, that Illusionist put out, but here's a quick summary. I think it's overpriced. I think a lot of magic kits are overpriced, but the caveat with this one is it has some great instruction from great magicians, but the gimmicks that it comes with are eh, and it comes with like an Illusionist deck of cards, fine. But I wanted to see if I could come up with a better magic kit using the same price tag, $69. I will leave the link in the description for the How to Be a Magician magic kit. It is $69 on their website. So I'm going to use that same price tag and see if I can create a magic kit that in my mind is better. Now it might not be better, but here is what I would put in a magic kit for $69. And I've got it right in this case. Before I start out, I do want to say I will put a link to buy everything in here in the description. Uh, everything's coming from Penguin Magic, it's uh, no reason, it's just everything's right there and I wanted one source, I don't want to have to jump around to different websites to find things for 25 cents cheaper, so I just stuck with Penguin Magic because I knew what I wanted to put in this kit. The first thing I have is two regular red Dexas playing cards, 375 each on Penguin Magic, you can buy them in bulk for cheaper, but two sets of cards seems good and that's what was in the budget. Next up I have a red gimmicked invisible deck of cards. $5.62. There's not really much to say about the invisible deck. If you know what it is, you know it's awesome. It's an effect that you, the spectator thinks of a card, any card in the deck, and it's faced the other way. There's so many things you can do with it. I think it's a great introduction to the world of gimmicks. Next up, I'm going to put in a pack of loops for $9.95. I know they're not the greatest thing ever, and they tend to break. It's probably a waste of $10, but I know loops when I was first starting out learning magic, Loops just got me excited. They were so cool. You could do the haunted deck, you could make things float. I just know that I loved them and everybody that I showed them to was like, how did you do that? After I showed them a card trick and then I showed them something with loops, I just think, I think it's worth that $10 for that amazing feeling starting out. The next thing in the Braden Carlisle Magic Kit is, well, I don't actually have it to show you. I own it as a digital download but it's actually Sponge by J. Noble Azada. It's 1995, and it does come with four sponge balls, so my magic kit would also come with those same four sponge balls. I personally think sponge balls are very fun. I think they play to children. I think they play to adults. They can be good tricks for anybody, and J. Noble Azada is an amazing teacher. Also, if you haven't seen his penguin lecture about mentalism, get it. If you don't have the Spongebob thing and you love Spongebob but you haven't used them before, get it. I mean, it is a bunch of the basics, but it's really good. This is just a staple of magic. A lot of people are scared to use it. Some people think it's too corny. I like it. $2.25, you get a thumb tip. I, if you know what a thumb tip is, you know how to use it great if not it comes with a little instruction sheet on some tricks you can do and you can learn so many things just by just playing around with it and applying the same properties to just different objects it's something that i think every magician should have regardless of skill level i think everyone should read and have expert at the card table seven dollars and 46 cents for the cheapest edition i can get into the hundreds for more expensive editions mine would come with the seven dollar and 46 cent edition and the last thing I would put in my magic kit is this book. This is the first book I ever owned in magic. It is Mark Wilson's Complete Course in Magic. And look how thick it is. $16.46. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got coin tricks, money tricks, card tricks, big illusions, little things, sponge balls, thumb tip stuff, self-working card tricks, sleight of hand card tricks, rope magic, cups and balls, flourishes, silk magic, mental magic, billiard ball magic, make at home magic, it's got everything you could possibly need. It's just a little bit of everything. So no matter your style, you can just get this book and go. This book could be its own magic kit for $16.46, but I just threw in all that other stuff to get to the $69. That's my magic kit. It comes to the grand total of $69.16 if you order it all from Penguin. But if you do order it all from Penguin, you get the Penguin Magic uh, magazine for whatever month you order all that stuff in. Anything over 
from them, you get the magazine, and I've gotten the magazine a lot. I don't know how my kit would compare to the Illusionist kit. I think my kit's better. You guys might think the Illusionist kit is better because the Illusionist kit does come with amazing teaching videos. Mine only comes with one video, and that's about Spongeballs from Jay Noblezada. But I do have the two books, and I've got the two cards, I've got the invisible deck, I've got the lubes. I, I just told you everything I have, the thumb tip, everything. I'm not gonna repeat everything that's in there again, though I think I just did. But my, you know what mine has, you know what the illusionist one has. Let me know in the comments which one you think is better. Do you like my magic kit? Did I put something in there that I shouldn't have? Did I leave something out? Please let me know. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.